love Adam Tad. When are you going to get that through your thick skull? If it's separate bedrooms, there must be a reason. And don't tell me it's because you snore. You enjoying this, Tad? Huh? You getting your cakes out of making fun of me? I am not making fun out of you. I just want the truth. I care. I care about you. Apparently, you held a lot more than your husband does. Well, if you really cared about me, you wouldn't be so... I'm not being cruel. I'm not trying to hurt you. Well, you hate Adam. You think I'm a fool for being in love with him, Ted, but I am in love. And nothing you ever do or say is just ever going to change that. Okay. He is my husband. He is the father of my baby. And for you to come in here and into his own home and badmouth him, not just bad him, mouthing him. I don't here. care enough about him to badmouth him, but I do care about you. A lot. You are a friend. Well, you're sure not talking like a friend. Coming in here with a lot of gossip and throwing it right in my face. I'm not throwing it. Making it me feel like, like there's something wrong with my marriage. There is. You're not happy. I am very happy. I have never been happier. You don't believe that. Why should I? Why are you doing this to me, Ted? Because you are lying to me. You are looking me square in the face and you are lying to me and I don't like it. You always used to tell me the truth. Why not now? Come on, what is it? Whatever it is, I promise, I swear, I will do my damnedest to try and understand. I forget you already have misunderstood. The fact that Adam and I share separate rooms has nothing to do with it. I mean, we still love each other. Earth, then what is it? He's got insomnia, he doesn't want to keep you awake at night, what I, is it? I hate not sleeping with Adam. He hates it too. But the doctor said we had to. Why, for the baby? Okay, do you, you remember when I had those cramps so bad? Dixie, Dixie. And Adam had to take Dixie, me to the is there the something hospital? wrong with the baby? No, okay, no, but Dr. Fowler said that that we couldn't make love, okay? Well, we just... And then that we had to have separate Dr. Rooms. Fowler, what are you talking about? D D Dr. Clater is your doctor. He was, okay? Only Adam wanted me to have the very best, so we switched to Dr. Fowler. Clater is the best. He delivered Joey. Why do you think my parents would use him if you weren't? Uh, well, look, Tad, I love Dr. Clater. Then why the switch? Look, it is very important for you to have a good rapport with your doctor, especially during pregnancy. It, it's very important. I mean, having a baby is very personal. So I've been told. Look, Ted, Dr. Fowler is a specialist, okay, in high-risk pregnancy. Since when are you a high-risk pregnancy? <laughs> Ken Sai, this is my first child. Is this Adam's idea? Oh, boy. Ted, he did this because he loves me. He cares about what happens to me and the baby. Is this guy, uh, Fowler, is he associated with the Pine Valley Hospital? No. But he's extremely well known. I mean, in fact, uh, he had a big research project I read about in the Bulletin the other day. He was about to get this uh, uh, big project and, and then he ran out of money and, and now he's got a big grant. Lucky guy. Where does he work? In Center City, why? Nothing. Just checking up. You know, I've got a lot invested in that baby. And now, I think I'm gonna get out of here before Adam comes back. Wait a minute, Tad. Adam's not gonna be back. No, 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 no. Come you... on, I got a lot to take care of. Bye-bye. See you later. Wait, that... Uh... right to be here as you do. How dare you? Dr. Fowler is speaking something for me. What? My wife doesn't tell me anything. It's because that doctor told her not to say anything. Well, I'll tell you something, lady. It's my kid. It's my family. I got a right to know what the hell is going on here. Dad. 
Dr. Fowler would never give at that advice. Oh, so what do you but tell me? That my wife is a liar and I shouldn't worry about it? Is that it? Mm. Well, she's sick. Very sick. All of a sudden she goes to see some highfalutin doctor and everything's okay. Well, it is not okay and I want to know what's going on. Because I'll tell you something. My wife is the only thing I got. And if something happens to her, I... Well, I, I just don't know what I'd do. It's all right, Mr... Oh, uh... Call me Sam. Everybody calls me Sam. Now, uh, just sit down, Sam. I'll get you some water. I don't want any water. I want to see that damn doctor. Where is he? Well, I'm going to try get and... Him get him in here. I'm going to try and get in touch with him. Now, now what is your full name? Scudder. Sam Scudder. Right. Now, you just sit tight. I'll only be a moment. Right here. Right there. Don't go away. <laughs> 